Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for me to be back in uh, Serbia and in Belgrade. And uh, today, in my capacity as IWA Vice President, so this is a little bit of change compared to the usual approach of IWD as a Secretary General uh, being here in, in Belgrade. And I'd like to talk about global approach and regional approach of IWA. And I'm, I'm proud to recognize, and I think we, we need to recognize this as well, that Serbia is significantly uh, uh, contributing on the global level nowadays. And uh, we noticed that Novak Djokovic and Jan Tipsarjevic are playing in the, in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. And I, I want to congratulate it. That's really uh, showing and showcasing how significant uh, Serbia can contribute on the global level and really performing at the best. And I, I sincere hope that one of the specialists here are stepping into uh, the, the, the way of Djokovic and uh, performing on the, uh, on the water management level as well as, as this guy is doing in Flushing Meadows. So, uh, IWA is one of the key partners uh, of this event and uh, uh, I will tell you and uh, introduce to you the work of IWA uh, on the global level and at the end of my presentation I try to, uh, to, to point out the relation uh, which, which is uh, significant to the Danube catchment area and the work uh, which is done here in uh, Serbia and Belgrade as well. Uh, First, a few thoughts uh, really to introduce and to really probably some of you remind you about what's, what's IWA about. And uh, I'd like to start off with the uh, strategic intent of, of IWA, which is basically four points. And I think that's, that's uh, easy to say put it on a paper, but it's hard work with a, with a team in The Hague, uh, with, with, with our publishing, and with all the partners, members throughout the world to achieve this, this uh, intent. Uh, we want to be a primary international network throughout the world, as well as we are here with, with our specialist conference. Uh, it's difficult and it's hard work to be a respected global authority in the water management, and that's why I made probably this comparison to Novak Djokovic. It's you have to perform on a high level to be respected, and you have a very good example in uh, Serbia on, uh, in this case. Uh, you need to be a high evaluated partner. I don't use the example again, but IWA is, is trying to, to achieve that, uh, to, to really partnering up with other uh, associations. And uh, in the, in the uh, introduction today, uh, IWA was one of these uh, international partners named as uh, co-organizers of this conference and various other events throughout the world. And you need to uh, provide leadership. Leadership, again, is it depends on which area in the world you're talking of. Uh, leadership could be really a very difficult or very different task. It's seemed to be quite uh, easy to do it here in Serbia in the Danube region. We've got well-organized uh, circumstances to work on our issues, but we are still 19 countries to share this Danube region, and there is uh, really uh, room and, and need for, for cooperation and uh, work together. Just to give you uh, a little bit of idea about how the activities of, of IWA is, is structured, there is simply three questions. Uh, who are we? Uh, how, how we are organized and, and what, what, what are our activities uh, which we do. Uh, in in uh, IWA, you find researchers, utilities, water utilities, consultants, regulators, so all the whole range of the water business. And this is organized in specialist groups, which really carries out the work which needs to be done. Interest groups and task forces are in much smaller scale, and uh, this, this specialist group stand behind events like this here uh, today in, uh, in Belgrade. Uh, there are forums 
on, on, on a bigger scale in events uh, uh, which, uh, where we bring certain people and groups together which need to discuss their issues. CEOs, regulators are one of them. And we are developing and, uh, and trying to perform better in, in getting web-based collaboration, uh, a new tool which need to be used uh, in future time. So what are we doing and what are the activities? That's biannual conferences, uh, which are well known from IWA. Uh, it, within the last years, it's been Beijing, it's uh, been uh, the Vienna conference uh, last year in Montreal, and we are looking forward to Busan uh, next year. Uh, already decided uh, in 2014 that we will meet in Europe again in Portugal, uh, Lisbon. Events and publication, leading edge conferences. Uh, it is a long list and I will come uh, point out a few of them a little bit later, but especially uh, also the, uh, the publishing uh, is, is a significant uh, activity and the backbone of this association. And uh, Professor Dimskic is, is one of the forces here in Serbia who is also uh, 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 publishing his, uh, his activities within uh, IWA. Uh, the last uh, conference in 2007 here was well published and, and, and well sold out uh, in, uh, in uh, IWA publishing. So these are the IWA books which I had the last point on this slide. Just to give you a rough idea about the IWA membership, we have 10,000 members within 130 countries uh, around the world. We have more than 500 corporate members. We have governing members. These are the members who are representing a nation. Uh, Serbia is one of them uh, representing, and uh, we will have our governing assembly uh, in two weeks from now, and the Serbia will be represented there as well. Uh, so this is uh, the basis of, of, of the relationship and the work which, which can be carried out uh, globally and to to, to use and to develop this network. This network is uh, developed in, in, in 52 specialist groups, and I just pointed out a few examples for you. Some of them, or many of you, know this or are participating in one of these groups or are actually members uh, or uh, through the uh, National Water Association participating in, in those activities of uh, IWA. Uh, the corporate membership uh, includes uh, the, the groups uh, entitled here. It's utilities, technologies, uh, especially universities, regulators, institutes like Yaroslav Chani. Uh, the activities, the programs, uh, is really the driving force, the content which, which IWA uh, develops. And again, I need to say that these programs need to be tailor-made for various regions in the world. So it's not one program which you can uh, develop for the whole world and, uh, and uh, uh, well, get it adjusted uh, just in one way. You always need to adjust it to the region itself, but basically big programs can be used like a common umbrella with, which we share and the tailor-made solutions or uh, developments are, are, are contributing in these in this broad programs. Uh, getting ready, uh, ready for the future, uh, we have various themes, and I will go into a little bit more depth of these uh, new themes, of these new trends, which, which we need to, to care about and which, which uh, we need to have a focus on. And uh, again, when, uh, beside the academic work, which, which is uh, covered in IWA, we also care about strengthening the, the utilities work uh, as a member of, of IWA and uh, to have the right programs ready uh, for them uh, to, to give them an opportunity to contribute or to get something out of IWA as well. Events such as here, specialist conferences, people like you meeting everywhere in the world, 
It's about uh, 40 conferences uh, within this year in 2011. I just want to remind you about in May we had Cities of the Future conference in, in Stockholm, a leading edge technology uh, conference in Amsterdam, really driving forces here in, in Europe. Uh, there, is, uh, there will be a LASM conference in, in September in Mülheim in Germany as well, and uh, again uh, a conference in, in Amsterdam. So uh, even each week, you have one conference going on, uh, contributed or organized by, by or co-organized by IWA. So you see that this is really a global approach and quite a tough work to get this organized and to be present and, and uh, significantly contribute throughout the world. Uh, there, the, the flagships of our activities uh, are uh, our annual, uh, biannual conferences, which will take place next year in Busan, uh, the World Water Congress. But in the years in between, we have development conferences, a new, a new activity, a new congress, uh, which was launched in, uh, in Mexico City in 2009. And this will be the second format of this conference. Uh, there is really a lot of... Uh, power of us in getting this development conference going. Uh, it's not that big business and it's much more work you need to do to, to get development issues working, but I think there's an urgent need in the world to, to do that. I uh, stress publishing, and I should have on this scheme, uh, on this sheet as well, the book of uh, Professor Timkic and of the Institute Jaroslav Czerny, but there is a huge number of uh, publications, journals, uh, 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 which are really uh, producing cutting-edge uh, uh, information for you, uh, as well as books uh, we, which are published uh, annually. So this is, uh, as I said before, uh, the backbone of IWA. And I, if you want to know more about this, I invite you to join the uh, to, to have a look at the uh, web page of IWA and to learn much more about the program and, and all the content which is available there. So let me quickly switch to the trends in, in the world of water and to share with you a little bit of uh, what's happening outside our world, outside of the Danube region. And if you go through the papers, uh, you recognize that, uh, that water is addressed in various issues. It's, we, we are dealing with that and, and we are interested what's going on and, and we're always scared living in, in an area like uh, here in, in Europe, that we are on the, on the good side of the world. And there are various other regions where water scarcity or problems with water are much tougher uh, compared to the problems or the issues we have to deal with in the Danube region. Uh, for the preparation of the uh, Busan conference, uh, uh, we had a meeting this year in Busan and the president of IWA was pointing out a number of uh, trends which, which are on the agenda of, of uh, IWA to deal with in the next future, in the upcoming years, but uh, have them as a focus also for the, for the conference. And I, just to give you an example of how broad the range of, of activities are, I would like to share a few of these points and to give you an idea. Uh, but what, what we are dealing with and what our specialist groups and experts throughout the world are discussing. We are, uh, one, one of the points is the transition from a period of uh, water abundance to water scarcity. That's the main, the main issue we're dealing with is population growth in the world. Population growth in the world related to the water issue is really the most significant danger or problem or issue we need to deal with. There are various approaches. You, you could uh, uh, talk uh, and discuss whether climate change only has an impact. Uh, population change has an impact. Uh, but if you put all these together, you just realize that uh, the, the trend is going to... Uh, water scarcity in various regions of the world. It's very difficult to point out such pictures and say, I know where, where the, the urgent points are happening, where the problems need to be solved. We just need to be aware that it's a trend towards water scarcity, 
we should be happy if we are living in a region where water scarcity is not that big an uh, issue, but we should be able to contribute to various regions in the world to help with ideas, with developments, with research, to find and work on solutions which helps us to fight against uh, growing water scarcity. And we need to have a clear view that population growth is really the driving force. And I just put out this picture for you that say it's not happening in Europe. Europe is a calm spot of the world uh, compared to population growth. We have to look to Asia. We have to look to the development, uh, de uh, developing world and the emerging countries. Those are the countries, those are the regions in the world which are really facing tremendous uh, population growth and which will come into the problems of water scarcity. And we as experts also here will be asked whether we have ideas or solutions to help in this, uh, with these problems. Uh, population growth is, we, you have various statistics about this, but it's just important to know that between this uh, year 2000 and 2050, we, we are facing the significant uh, development from about 6 billion people up to 10 billion people. There is a, a long way we can discuss this, whether it's less than 10 million. It's a, a trend which we need to be aware of, a trend which is not significantly happening in the Danube region or in Europe, but we need to be aware of that this is uh, really a, a thing that uh, is uh, the main issue for our thoughts and our, for our research in, in, uh, in, uh, in the water business. And just to give you a, a slight idea, uh, media is already, uh, already responding this, day, uh, this year saying uh, it's now 7 billion people living on the world. Uh, and uh, just a short picture to, to, to remind you about how difficult on the left, uh, uh, or how different uh, on the left side the structure of the population in an emerging country is in a developing country compared to an industrialized Western Hemisphere country. We need to be aware that we are really living on, the, on, the, on the, one of the best parts of the world and, and be able to understand even what's happening in emerging countries, to be able to contribute. Some days, uh, sometimes we do, do have the impression that the industrialized countries, uh, even with their solutions, are going into the wrong directions. Another issue which I, I picked out of the list, uh, what are the, the, the really the, the driving themes we should be aware of? And, uh, Again, this sheet uh, I put out of, uh, of a presentation of IWA shows that, uh, and show you a content which could be discussed in two conferences for, for two days. Uh, and it's all about, uh, well, which, which different themes and issues are significant uh, re uh, related to, uh, to water scarcity and, and uh, to, to, to the water issue as well. And... Uh, it was uh, the need uh, to, to, identi to try to identify which of these sections uh, we have research, we have knowledge that we can, we can guess that this, this, uh, this field of, of uh, development, uh, this development in this field uh, is covered with enough knowledge that we, we can uh, find solution for, for trends, even do a warning or if there are certain areas where we simply have to say there's a lack of knowledge, there need to be research on this. And just as an example here, it's a clear sign saying biodiversity, the loss of biodiversity will be really one of the big uh, issues we have to, to deal with. Again, related to population growth. If population is growing, you need to produce more food, you need to use more land, you need to use more resources to feed these people, and biodiversity will lose against our needs of, of feeding these people and trying to help them reach a, a, a standard of living, which is 
appropriate to us, or we think it's appropriate. There are other uh, issues like uh, nutrients, uh, the, the nutrients issues, uh, climate change issues, which uh, was stressed in the opening, uh, also as a theme. But there are other uh, 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 issues and, and fields of research which we have on the list that research need to be done, uh, research need to be investigated, and, and IWA is helping to find this balance uh, to, to ask universities and institutes uh, to focus on these issues as well. We are changing from a rural planet to a, uh, to an urban planet, and just to, to indicate this for you in, in, in uh, roughly in uh, three pictures, it's Looking back to, nine, uh, to the 50s, we had a small number of cities uh, with more than 5 million people. In 2000, uh, cities around the world changed, and uh, there were more and more coming up with, with more than 5 million residents. And if we estimate uh, the future in a few years from now, we will have uh, a population of uh, the world, more than 50%, raising, living in these in this rural areas, and IWA, the specialists which are gathered in IWA, are asked to find solutions, to find ideas, how we can manage in urban areas a living in the future if this is a growing issue. And there are certain areas in the world where this is really getting more and more a problem, and uh, IWA specialists are asked uh, to find uh, solutions for that. Financial risks is also increasingly recognized uh, by, the, by the business. And, and the, the water issue is, is, is uh, uh, taken as, as one of the possible risks. Water is recognized as a resource that is significant for, for the development of countries and urban areas. So for that uh, reason, also business and investors are Aware, need to be aware how water resources will be available. We will be asked as specialists to find uh, solutions and to find answers. And definitely this conference here, the Groundwater Conference, is one of these this, uh, events which, which is asked to find uh, answers on, on, uh, on risks, even on the business side. Global water trade... And, and the virtual water is a new trend which we are working on. We are changing from per capita use of water, what, what each person is using, to, to a thought that said we should deal with the water footprint. And one of the specialists present here is uh, Professor Berfler, which, which is present here, and he's, he's a specialist in, in the issue of, of the water footprint. So go ask him, get in discussion with him. I think the water footprint and the really the, the knowledge behind that is one of the trends where we need to change our mind and recognize how much water we are using per day. It's more than thousand, thousands of liters which each of us needs to have our life standard, to have enough food, to, uh, to make traveling uh, possible and so on. So that's, it's a big uh, amount of water we are using. The, the personal use is about 130 liters. This is not the, the main point. It's our life standard needs a lot of water, and we need to be aware how much this is and how this could be balanced. So Professor Berfle is just smiling and, and prepared to, to be addressed with, uh, with questions about this. And uh, also a changing mind and new trend is that, that we are changing. Uh, wastewater doesn't only need to be treated. Wastewater is getting a resource uh, where we can get uh, 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 products and, and uh, uh, phosphorus, for example, out of that. So uh, we, we treat it as a resource in future. I think this is one of the significant trends. We, we need to work on solutions to find how we can do this efficiently. And we need to address urban sanitation lacks, and this is really the main issue. Urban sanitation lacks is the, the point where uh, solutions and ideas are asked uh, and uh, easy to, to, to be told. Uh, just to give you a, a personal feedback of, from my side, I'm from Vienna, Austria. 
and I am asked to be vice president of IWA for two years. So I, I show you a picture where I'm coming from. This is a water supply we are running in Vienna, and this is my world. And I had to change to a world, and I had to change my mind to circumstances like this here in Mumbai and to understand where the real average in the world is, where people are living, and which kind of standard we need to develop and we need to care of. So it's even a, a hard task for me to change into a, the, the average world and to be aware how rich we are, how fortunate we are to live in an area of, of the world where water is, is really not a problem, but a, a given resource treated quite well. So... For uh, some, uh, uh, for, for for a second part and some thoughts, uh, just give me the chance to to relate a little bit uh, to to the Daniel Breachin and IWE's work to to the Daniel Breachin. Uh, I using the map of ICPDR. Phil Weller is present here and introduced himself. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, one of these networks and uh, one of these corporations which are really working well, IWD, ICPDR, and IWA working in the Danube region and using knowledge jointly as we use the maps of uh, ICPDR. Just to give you an idea of what happened within the last 20 years, it was uh, uh, told by the minister this morning that the last 20 years were quite, quite uh, interesting and challenging for Serbia and also the Balkan region and the whole Danube region. At the beginning of the 90s, only Germany and Italy were, uh, were members of, of the European Union. This changed in, in the year 1995. Austria joined, and then uh, there was a growing interest of the European Union how to deal uh, with the Danube region because of the circumstances in the Black Sea, not only uh, to deal uh, with, with, uh, with the circumstances in the region, but also uh, how the impact is given to the Black Sea. And uh, in the beginning of the uh, 2000, uh, uh, really the, the balance in, in, the, uh, in the Danube region changed, uh, where Hungary, uh, Slovenia, uh, all the other countries joined, and now uh, uh, the European Union was growing into the Danube region, finishing up in 2007, where Romania and Bulgaria joined the European Union. You see so a pretty good coverage of the European Union and the responsibility uh, in the region. Uh, I put this uh, picture up because we're still missing the Balkan region to join the European Union. My personal guess is it's, it's a, a process that will, will be continued within the next years. Uh, even in the excursion yesterday, we had discussions how long it will take and if Greece will stay as a member and probably countries from, Bel uh, from the Balkan will join uh, the European Union. It's a trend. It's a movement towards uh, those countries here in this area will join the European Union. I'm confident that in a few years from now, I will join you as an EU member uh, in this conference, and we, uh, we will talk about issues within the European community. Uh, what is the, 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 the regional approach uh, which IWA has? Well, we are present here, and I, I can say this with two caps on my head. Uh, I'm uh, the Secretary General of IWD, trying to bring IWA in, as well as contributing and working for IWA as well. Looking back to the year 2007, when already it was decided that the World Conference of IWA, with some 5,000 delegates, will meet in, in the Danube region in Vienna. We prepared this with a, a very uh, successful conference in 2007, the first groundwater conference in Serbia, here in, in Belgrade. We had also with our colleagues uh, uh, in, in Bucharest from ARA uh, the, uh, the opportunity to, to organize a water loss conference to prepare the World Conference, which happened in 2008, was a tremendous success, and to be here today again is one of the success stories. There's also a, a IWA large water treatment, uh, treatment conference going on in Budapest at the same time. It just shows that IWA con uh, continues its presence here in the Danube region, but not only as an association being present, but being supported by, by those specialists who invites us, who brings IWA here, who works on this contribution. And uh, we are happy that 
a uh, number of uh, the Danube countries are here um, contributing, and uh, ARA is uh, uh, from Romania is also one of the partners with his significant uh, support in this activity. So, uh, at the last point, I just want to give you a, a few dots of what, what is really happening or what are the activities in the Danube region, uh, the role of IWA. It's mainly the membership. It's always, if you have members there, if you have people who join IWA, you're part of the network, you can contribute, you're part of, of what we're doing, uh, including corporate membership. We need partners. I named them before uh, in these various activities. Uh, we have event and conferences, and again, congratulations to the organizers of this event here. It's important and significant to have uh, meetings and, and conferences like this uh, to continue our work. We, we can offer programs like the water operator partnership, the water safety plans, which are significant for the utilities, the City of the Future conference. These are various programs which are offered by IWA, and you are asked uh, from the Danube region, especially also from Serbia, to contribute uh, uh, to those programs. We have a very important program, which I'm really... Uh, Reminding you and let you know again, it's the Young Water Professional Program. The Young Water Professional Program is really one of the sources for the future of IWE and the water business. All of you, the young ones, those of who, who still feel young, are invited to join and said, well, we are the young water professionals. There's special treatment within IWE for the young water professionals. It's a huge group. Young water professional uh, conferences are happening here in the Danube region. Please join them. We need those young talents, like Novak Djokovic. He's only 24 years old, so he would be a young water professional. And we need these talented people to join us for future work in the, in the Danube region and in the IWE. Uh, working on the task I mentioned before. And we have an office uh, in Bucharest. IWA has a uh, regional office in Bucharest, which is important. And uh, uh, Vasily is, is, uh, is present here. He is the supporter of this office. And uh, this, this is also a contribution which IWA gives to the Daniel region. With this, I'd like to thank, I'd like to hope, uh, say thanks to the organization, and uh, I'd like to hope that the next two days is really contributing to these uh, points and content I said. I, I tried to give you a little bit of global view and the relation to uh, the Danube region, to the regional work which can be done, and I thank for your attention. Thank you.